So good morning. Today I'm off to Osaka for the marathon in Japan. Um, I'm just getting the morning train with Meg. She's gone down to London for her day at work. Morning commute. Just that me. morning commute vibe. vibe. <laughs> um, I've started a little um, stopwatch on my phone to see how long the, the travel is. Today's video will just be uh, me travelling out to Japan and sort of all the pre-race stuff, going to the expo, um, going from Tokyo to Osaka, hopefully having a little look around um, my sort of local area. I'm going to be staying in Japan, but um, yeah, should be good. You coming with me? I wish. <laughs> yeah, I wish too, but never mind. Oh well. I'll document it all on here so you can watch it and be with me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, here's to 17 plus hours of, of travel. Woo! So I just made it to Heathrow Airport, uh, met up with the guys that are also going on this trip. We've got the running channel that are coming on this one, so I just met Sarah, um, who's the producer, and you'll see her on the, on the running channel um, quite a bit. So it's nice to meet her and two of the video guys, as well as Rob um, from Mizuno. We've just got another sort of hour to wait before um, we can get on the plane. And then, yeah, fly to Tokyo, which is around 14 hours of flying. Then we have a little bit of a layover in Tokyo, grab our bags, and then head to Osaka, which is another sort of two-hour flight um, onto, onto Osaka. So it's going to be a busy day of travel. And basically the whole of Thursday, I think the total travel time is about 17 and a half hours. Um, so I started a little stopwatch when I left the house at home, and I'll stop it when I get to my hotel room um, to see how long the, the day has been in terms of travel. But yeah. Nice to be, be travelling with a bit of a group and um, yeah, everything's going nice and smoothly so far. So there we go, 14 hours of flying. We've just touched down in Tokyo, um, about to get our bags from this flight and then over, head over to our second flight to Osaka, which is another hour. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we just had a quick stop in Tokyo, got some peach tea, which is very nice. And we're just about to board our second plane, this one over here with Japan Airlines um, to fly to Osaka. It's another hour flight. And then we've, yeah, we finally made it. I think I've just looked at my phone, I'm about 20 hours into travel so far. So yeah, about two hours sleep. So we're definitely being pretty tired by the time we get there. But um, yeah, we're, we're nearly there, the home's straight now. So we are officially in Osaka. Um, just touched down. Our flight was only about 45 minutes, so a blink compared to the first one. Um, we're just about to jump in uh, on the bus. Um, it's about a 15 minute bus ride to our hotel and get settled in. Um, then I'll pause the stopwatch and find out how long we've been traveling for. But yeah, well over 24 hours, so I reckon it's going to hit us fairly soon. It's now uh, 2 o'clock here in Tokyo and we're 9 hours ahead in Osaka, sorry, and we're 9 hours ahead of London, so yeah, the jet lag is definitely going to kick in later, I reckon. Just got to my hotel room in Osaka, and here is the clock that I started as I left the house. 23 and a half hours exactly of travel time, that's pretty crazy. Um, so it's a completely different day. I left the house on Thursday morning and it is now uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on um, Friday. There's a little parcel here um, from Mizuno. Some origami um, swans. That's pretty cool. We've got some sort of, I think it's a biscuit with the Mizuno logo on it. little card here. It says, Dear Ben Sam, I hope you will do your best from Mizuno. Cool. I reckon in here is a pair of shoes. Let's find out. Oh wow. This is the race singlet, I think. Looks like it's gonna match the black and white shoes. Nice, look at that. That's gonna go really well with the shoes. Snazzy stuff. 
we've got a fresh pair of the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pros. Look at that. I'm about to go for a little bit of a shakeout, having travelled for 24 hours. Go for a little run, explore um, the local area, and then I'm meeting the rest of the guys at five o'clock. So I've got about two hours um, to settle into my to my room. Go for a little run, explore the local area a little bit, and uh, yeah, get ready for for this evening. I think we're gonna have some Japanese food, which would be nice. So just quickly got changed. I'm gonna go for my first little run. Um, out in Japan, probably just going to do about 20 minutes easy running just to shake out the legs after long haul flight. GPS is taking forever to load, but I think it's because I'm in a city, so I'm just going to go for it and see how we get on. But yeah, first run in Japan, here we go. done it's nice to just get out and stretch the legs I'm um, gonna go down now and meet the rest of the team from Mizuno I think we're gonna grab a drink in the lobby and then yeah head out for some some grub see what food we can find everywhere is new and fascinating Literally Japan. something out of a movie. In Japan, it's <laughs> This is one of them crosses. Yeah. This is one of them crosses. Oh, yeah. So cool. Really? No wonder we had to wait 20 minutes for the lights to change. <laughs> so we've just come out for some local food in this little Japanese place. Hello. It's really cool. We just literally went up a lift and we're in the restaurant. Apparently, his shoes are coming off as well. So, what are you doing in the restaurant? Leave your red in there. Yeah. Welcome to day two in Osaka. I've just got the itinerary for today. Uh, meet uh, downstairs for breakfast in about five minutes. And then we are going to the Mizuno um, labs as well as the main head office. Then we've got some buffet at lunchtime, and then session two, we're gonna do some lactic acid form um, and motion capture, some, test some of the, the latest technology at the Mizuno R&D lab, which has just recently opened. Um, R&D is research and development. And then get our numbers at the expo. So quite a busy day um, before the marathon, but I'm sure it'll be all right. And yeah, be back at the hotel for 6.20 p.m. I'm just gonna head down to breakfast now. See the rest of the guys. I've got my athlete bib voucher here. So I've got to take my passport um, down to the expo. But yeah, really excited for this one. It's a lovely day in Osaka. Oh, is it gonna focus? Yep, there you go, blue skies. And we've got Maggie here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just did a little bit of FaceTime, but yeah, gonna head down to breakfast now and, and see the rest of the Mizuno team. Keep forgetting my mask at the moment. Literally get out of my hotel room and then I see everybody's wearing a mask. Um, so just pop back to get that. I think it's pretty much mandatory here in, in Japan to wear them everywhere. Um, people wear them even outside, even all the cyclists wear them. Um, so yeah, just getting used to that again. Time to head down to breakfast. Gotta go down to floor number two. Down. See what the breakfast is like, eh? Good spread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Just a moment, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, just picked up my little lanyard. There's my name, invited runner. Got to sign an NDA. NDA which I've got to do on the coach. Um, we're about to head over to Mizuno headquarters here in Japan. It's their main headquarters in the world. Um, Mizuno are based out of, out of Japan and specifically out of Osaka where we're running the marathon. 
so it'll be really interesting to see what their HQ's like. Um, we're going to visit the Mizuno engine, which is, as I was saying, their new research and development lab, um, which is meant to have some of the state-of-the-art state technology. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun to have a little play about with, with stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just heading on to the coaches yeah, now. We are very pleased to welcome you and introducing Mizuno headquarters and Mizuno engine and Osaka Marathon. So we just got off the bus and this here in front of me is the Mizuno engine which is where we're going to go and explore some of the R&D lab. But yeah, the, everyone here is from all around the world, um, different media, different Instagrammers, influencers, everyone. Lots and lots of media, so it'd be really fun. Oh, we're getting a clap, clapping entrance. <laughs> So we just arrived at the Mizuno engine. Um, we're going up to the second floor where we've been told we're not allowed to film. So from this point on, the camera's going away. So they've got a track here to test out the shoes. We've also got some asphalt. And apparently underneath all of the floors, uh, as well as on the ceilings are different sensors. So you can basically test out the shoes that they develop upstairs. So now what's happening behind me is Rob from the Mizuno UK team has got a pair of the Rebellion Pros on his feet and he's got lots of little motion sensors that are attached to his actual shoe that then connect with the motion sensors built into the ceiling as well as underneath the track and build like sort of picture to track economy, um, his form, all things like that and we can sort of compare the two between different shoes. So he's going to do it in the Wave Rebellion Pro which are the new carbon racing shoes and then the more traditional daily trainer and we can see a little bit of a, a comparison between things like stride length, um, efficiency, um, which is really cool. It's amazing to have this facility um, right next to the Mizuno HQ so they can come and test shoes down here and then go back to the office and make adjustments like pretty much straight away which is pretty cool. And you've got all this all this state-of-the-art technology um, at their dispense literally on on the doorstep of the HQ which is pretty cool. So what's happening here now? Is it? It's wet condition. Yeah. And it's Heavy been... Sweat. Okay. Here we go. Only this side is with smoke. Yeah. But the black part is no smoke. Okay. So this is showing how mm. it ventilates even when it's wet. Yeah. Okay, clever. So when you get really sweaty in a mm -hmm. in a race, yeah. you can yeah. still have a breathing still material. Breathe a wow. Yeah. Really cool. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Our technology. These shorts here are pretty cool. I've got a 360 degree pocket. I know a uh, fan of the channel, Fabian, these are his favourites, so shout out to Fabian. 360 degree pocket, That's so clever. Such a simple design, but yeah, definitely we're getting hands on a pair of those, hopefully. There's a demonstration here which shows the difference between um, Mizuno Energy uh, Core Foam and EVA Foam. So let me show you the, little, the difference with this little ball bearing. I'll put it right to the top on both, and you can watch the bounce. So it came up to about top of the E, bottom of the E. Let's try normal EVA foam. Much lower, came to about here. So yeah, the difference between energy return is, is pretty clear on this one. It's good to know that my race shoes tomorrow will have plenty of this in. Let me just show you for perspective. This big building behind me here is the Mizuno engine, the R&D lab that we've just been looking around. I can take this off, now I'm outside. And this big building here is uh, the Mizuno head office out here in Japan. So yeah, pretty big corporation, especially one, if I'm totally honest, I've not really heard too much about of in the running scene um, for the last few years. So it's good to hear some of the technology behind their shoes. Uh, really excited to work, race in the Wave Rebellion Pro. That definitely sounds like their uh, most advanced shoe in terms of technology um, and development here at the Mizuno lab. Um, so yeah, it should be a really good race tomorrow. We're about to have some lunch and then off to the expo this afternoon to, to collect the number. So yes, it's all, set. it's all kicking in now. Um, I'll be racing the marathon tomorrow. <laughs> Just trying to do as much, as little as possible really, not really do any of the sort of running um, sort of simulations here just to make sure my legs are nice and fresh for tomorrow. But um, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Here we have a bit of behind the scenes for the running channel. We've got Sarah over here and the two guys helping film the content. She's got the Wave Rebellion Pro in her hand. I think she's gonna be wearing that tomorrow for the marathon. So it'll be good to see how 
how Sarah gets on as well. She's been training hard out in um, Club La Santa, so she should be ready to, to run a PB tomorrow. Um, I'll let you know how she gets on in tomorrow's race vlog. So this is the lunch spot. We're up 48 floors, so should be some good views. And it's a world buffet, so should be plenty of carbs on offer. Wow, there's one hell of a view. <laughs> Stop. No like way. That is insane. What? This is insane. And it's a buffet as well. A buffet with this sort of view. That is incredible. Wow. I think we were in a helicopter. Mental. Here's my lunch. Plenty of carbs. We've got one type of rice, two types of rice, noodles, and check out the view. Not bad. So after lunch now, we just had a little look at their uh, form, which is where they analyse athletes' forms, find out how efficient they are in different types of shoes. And now we're heading through to the lactic testing lab, where um, someone's going to jump on the treadmill and we're going to do some um, some testing via their sweat to figure out their lactate thresholds again in different pairs of shoes which will be interesting to see how the the wave rebellion pro affects your your lactate threshold so we're now on the way to the expo to the osaka marathon it's just in this building here and um, yeah gotta, gotta do some some sort of health check so you just check you don't have COVID and you're ready to race uh, and then you get your, your bib number and we're going to go check out the Mizuno uh, Expo stand as well so yeah hopefully it goes well. Thank you. So here is the shoe I'm going to be wearing tomorrow, the Wave Rebellion Pro. There's a few of them on sale here at the Expo if you want to buy them. I say a few loads to try. That's the colourway I'm going to be wearing. So there we go, dinner's done, had plenty of carbs there again, so we had carbs for lunch, carbs for dinner, we're all ready to rock for the marathon tomorrow. Um, I've laid all my kit out down here, let me quickly show you, the light will come on. Here is all my kit, let me quickly talk you through it. Um, so I'm going for a hat, so I can wear um, hat cam. I've got my number here, 81017, and I am in wave A, which is, I believe, just behind the elite runners, um, so I'll be right at the front of the race. So no excuse, get in a good pack and run fast. Um, I'm going for some arm sleeves. Uh, I've got some pure sport here that I'll whack on my legs in the morning just to wake them up. Um, some CBD in there. And then I'm gonna be wearing the Wave Rebellion Pros from Mizuno. Um, learned a lot about these shoes today at the R&D lab. And yeah, these are gonna be really fast and more than capable of, of running that two hour 30 sort of time for the marathon. Um, I'll talk about my pacing in just a second. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing these Half tights, again from Mizuno. These ones, interestingly, have got a lot of technology in um, around the trunk area. They were saying that this added area of um, sort of stability helps um, improve running efficiency up to 2.4% in terms of oxygen consumption, um, which can relate to, to 30 seconds almost over 10K, they were saying, which is, yeah, which was enough to make me pick them up at the expo today. So I'll be giving them a go. Um, I'll also be wearing a second pair of tights over the top just so I can, just because these don't have any pockets. Um, but yeah, in terms of fueling, uh, I'll be taking uh, precision fuel and hydration and I'll be aiming for around 60 to 70 grams of carbs per hour. So around half an hour in, I'll take gel number one, gel number two at an hour. I've also got this big gel here, um, which fits in the big pocket at the back. So I can just sip that along the way. And then this 30 grams chew I'll have at the beginning. Um, I'll also have a 30 gram chew with my breakfast as well. Um, watch 
is the Koros Pace 2. Um, hopefully that's all right in Japan with all the, the big tall buildings. Um, I've got my splits written down just in case. Uh, and I'll be tracking the heart rate with the Polar Sense um, arm heart rate monitor um, just to make sure I'm not overdoing it in those first sort of 10, 20 kilometers. This is the little clip that goes on my shoe for, for the timing. So I need to make sure I put that on in the morning when I'm doing them up. Um, pants, everyone loves a pants. Lululemon, um, these are really nice pants. Um, no chafing, which is really always really good. Um, and I'll be wearing this t-shirt down here, which matches the shoes um, for a bit of a photo shoot in the morning, apparently. So I've got to make sure I wear that, um, but I'll be racing in the singlet. Um, the weather is about uh, five, six degrees in the morning, so quite chilly, hence the arm sleeves. Um, but hopefully once I get going, um, I won't be, won't be too cold. Other things quickly to mention, I'll be filming a little bit with this little camera called the Insta360 GO 2. Um, I'll take it out of the case and, and clip it to the front of my hat. I'll be taking a couple of these electrolyte um, salt tabs um, before I run, probably about an hour before I race, I'll take two, possibly even three. Um, I'll be practicing with them in my long runs and yeah, it really helps reduce sort of the chance of cramping, um, having all the electrolytes on board. I've just got a OTE carb drink on the go as well. So literally everything is, is now ready um, for tomorrow, apart from I just need to have a bit of a shower, a bit of a clean up in the room. I've even got my bib and my uh, race bag ready with some warm clothes, some, some recovery sliders in there so that after the race I can put those on. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything really. Uh, it's been a pretty incredible day going to the Mizuno um, engine and headquarters. I uh, just want to say a big thank you to Mizuno for this opportunity to come out here uh, to Japan. I've, I would have never had the the funds or the the ability to come out here so yeah big big thank you to the guys at Mizuno huge thank you to everyone who sent me messages across Instagram YouTube Strava social media saying good luck um, yeah it means a lot in terms of race pacing I've got it written down here very professionally um, let me see if that will focus um, so my race pace I think I don't really know where my marathon pace is, if I'm totally honest, because I've only had an eight week training block. So I think it's roughly around 3.25 to 3.30 per kilometer. Um, so that's what I'm gonna roughly aim for tomorrow. Uh, and I'm gonna start on the more conservative side of that. So at 3.30s and then hopefully by the end, maybe even push low 3.20s. Um, so that would give me a, a marathon time if I average 3.25 of 2.24. And if I average 3.30, uh, it will add. It will give me a 2.27. My PB is currently 2.28, so I'd be quite happy with that. Um, and that's the the 5k split, 17.05 to 17.30. Um, again, I'll have my watch set up to split every 5k. Um, that's something new I'm trying this time, rather than keep watching the clock the whole time. And then just the half marathon split there is 72, uh, or between 72 and 73 high um, for the half. And I'll write them times on my hand in the morning just in case something like the watch doesn't work or just as a bit of a backup but that is pretty much it thanks for watching um as i said huge thank you to everyone who sent me messages it means a lot and um yeah tomorrow's the race vlog so i hope you enjoy watching um really gonna enjoy racing i'll try and get as much footage as possible but until next time aspire to run run to inspire from japan good night